So your main concerns about equity or about the environment? Well, certainly if you ask Aboriginal people who live around some of the towns, around the mines like Jabiru, Gove, Borulula, um, they will say a lot of them don't benefit too much. Some do, those with royalties, those whose, uh, whose ancestral lands those mines occur on, and they, they get royalties for sure. But there's a lot of poverty within eye shot of very, very wealthy, multi-hundred million dollar mines. So it's not a game changer if we just keep doing the same thing, which entrenches poverty with a lot of people and allows particularly fly and flout miners to take their money elsewhere. A lot of communities hate that. What I think we're not talking about, the major parties are saying, let's stick with large resource extraction. That's not a game changer. Making a bigger oil and gas industry is going to benefit a lot of people, but certainly not all Territorians, and it's going to drive up our carbon emissions. I think what, one of the things we should do we is look at... <laughs> this is your favourite topic, <laughs> David. Um, instead of just exporting fossil fuels and uranium to Asia, let's think about something a real game changer like, doing what they're doing in Europe and elsewhere, building a subsea cable from Northern Australia to Asia, if it stacks up financially, engineering-wise, and power up <coughs> solar power plants and renewable energy plants to power people, you know, hundreds of millions of people are in energy poverty, they need to develop, they're going to burn our coal or burn our, or our uranium in dangerous areas and leave a, a large legacy for this century. Surely we could diversify and use our real resources here, which we have and other people don't, which is a lot of sun and maybe geothermal. That's a game changer, not just more and more big mines and more gas plants.